Mr. Kanaka. Where are you? All right, today we're back at Reverse Rescue. It's a dog rescue. If you've seen any of our other videos, we've done some really cool stuff here, like we built a tiny house for a homeless dog. Awesome things, we're gonna go check it out. Because I hear, since the time I've been gone, just a few months, the tie actually has wolves. I'm not kidding, wolves. We are starting on another tiny home, and by, by we, I mean Ty has already started on the other tiny home. Uh, I'm gonna be the design and help pull it all together, and we've got a very special dog that I'm gonna meet today. So you guys are gonna get a first look at this. You don't even have to wait for the big episode to come out on the Rocky Kanaka channel. Uh, you're gonna be the first to know what dog it is that's gonna get this special tiny home. Did I take your parking spot? <laughs> You can rightfully take it. Hey, only certain people are allowed in here. Somebody left the gate open. Now any riffraff can get in. You excited, Homer? What's up, Homer? Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, bud. Yep. Hey. How you been? <laughs> More like a bunny than a dog. Look at all this. Come That's on. awesome. That's the welcome center? Yep. Dude, so cool. Hi, Maggie. Oh, you so sweet. Yes, she is. Okay, so this is Maggie, guys, and what we're thinking with the new tiny home is that Maggie really helps me put it together. The design, like Ty's doing all, he, Ty's doing all the hard work, <laughs> basically, and, uh, and he's gonna build it all. So what I think we do with Maggie, well, I can't say, I can't say because Ty's right here, but I, I have an idea. I'll tell you guys, yeah, I'll tell you guys here in just a little bit. Ty has added like all kinds of family members, and he's really working hard on his boss sanctuary. He's got donkeys, he's got a pig, a horse. He's got it all. Yeah. Drive that truck. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> wow, welcome to donkeys. Um, okay, what are their names? Elvis is on the right, Sophie is on the left. Sophie's a little bit smaller than Elvis. They're on an organic meat farm. Okay. So, they, when the organic meat farm shut down, they were gonna be sold or anything like that, so we took them in as sanctuary animals. What, what are their personalities like? Uh, Elvis is funny and bouncy and will mess with you. Okay. And chase the horse. And Sophie's just shut down, kinda reserved. Yeah. Can I give Elvis a treat? Yep. Or Sophie, either one. Elvis. They're so gentle about it. Three months, it's been three months since I've been here and he's built an entire farm. <laughs> yeah. Building that boss sanctuary. All day, baby. What's the goal, okay, what's the goal with this, obviously helping animals, but what's the, like, what's the vision? Just sanctuary. Yeah. Place for animals that are either gonna be sold for meat, gonna be abused or bred in the wrong way, they can come here and live out their life and... Yeah. Wait, who's this? Who's this? This is Ellie. Hi, Ellie. You're so pretty. So, Ellie Hi. was gonna go to market. Okay. But what happened, um, there was a 86-year-old man and his wife passed away, unfortunately. Oh. I know, I know. Oh, jealous, huh? Uh-huh. Jealous Elvis. Yep. So, 86 years old, his wife unfortunately passed away. Okay. And he uh, had to sell his ranch. So, instead of the horse going to market or anything, yeah, I took her. Got That's her out so riding cool. yesterday. All right, all right, all right. I think also, like, you can't, on the camera, you can't, you just can't see how big and pretty she is, yeah. you know? I mean, maybe you can, I don't know, but like, it's, she's just. It's different in, in person. Like, the, yeah, the fact that she was gonna go to market is just heartbreaking because she's just so majestic. Climb on in. Okay, who are these characters? So this is Habanero. This is chili. Okay. And that's pepper. I see a theme here. Yeah. The, they're all goats. And you know what it is? Oh, wow. It's how they go by spiciness. Oh. He's the most spicy yeah, of them. Yeah, he is. You can tell. She's, yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> he's a jerk. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> Simply put, Ty loves animals. He's a jerk. <laughs> yep. He's right here. He headbutts everybody. Oh. So these, these goats came from the same organic meat farm. Okay. 
um, instead of being sold. Yeah. I found out about the donkeys. I didn't even know about them when I got there. They were there. I found out them and they were like, well, they're going too. So I was like, oh, all right, yeah. well, I'm taking them. Yeah. Oh, Petunia. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> Gabe, don't get run over. I got the back of my legs sweeped earlier. <laughs> uh, Gabe does editing for us. And this is, this is your first day on what? I guess, I don't know. It's on the ranch. Set, on, on the ranch. On location. I like almost called it set, but it's not a, it's, I mean, it's the, <laughs> it's real life. I'm out of my element. Petunia. Petunia. Petunia, petunia, the pig. Oh, petunia the pig. I love it. Man, they love Ty. God, I... Like, Blake's just getting their rear end on this one. <laughs> <laughs> petunia was laying on me a minute ago. I didn't see it. I didn't let see it. Let me tell you. Petunia's a, a big girl. She was found as a, uh, a stray in Bakersfield. <laughs> So she was at the dog shelter. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. That's a, that's a thing? A <laughs> stray pig? Yeah. But she's severely overweight though. She's about one to two years old. Yeah. Probably about 200, 250. What she, so what, she should be like Way 150? Less. Yeah. My goal with this vlog was to show you just how fast Ty moves and how awesome his sanctuary is. But I think what we're actually finding is how goofy my team is. <laughs> <laughs> Just the interaction of them with the animals is, is pretty funny. Oh, look at that giant tennis ball. That's fun. Yeah. So, funny thing is, is for Boss Sanctuary, people love ordering off the Amazon wish list okay. more than donating because for dogs and stuff, they like to see us be funded and taken care of. Yeah. For Boss Sanctuary, they just want to see him play with toys. Yeah, that's fun. But okay, but how is there other ways that people can help you? Because obviously this is not cheap. Yeah, so what we have is actually we have a website okay. that is rescued like a boss. But what you can do is you can go in and do a monthly donation to each animal like you're virtually adopting them. That's cool. Yeah, so each different animal's on there and you can pick and choose. You know, if you want to donate to Pepper or if you have a certain draw towards Petunia. Yeah. A lot of people love Hey, and, and look, even jerks need some support sometimes well, too. Yeah. Some people like Hobbs. <laughs> I like Hobbs. Some people. I think Hobbs has got it they down. They also learned how to drink off of a nipple feeder too. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, where do they go to do that? Rescuelikeaboss.com. Okay, I'll put a link down below too, guys. Yes. So uh, Ty actually has wolf dogs here on the ranch. And um, obviously, because they've got wolf in them, uh, they behave just a little bit different. And so we're gonna get to meet them right now. So why do you help wolf dogs? Like why not just oh. let them out into the wild? One, they haven't adapted to be able to living, to be able to live in the wild. They would die off. The whole thing about it is that wolves themselves, their lifespan is usually seven to nine years. It's very short in the wild. I mean, they're apex too. They are the leader of everything. So they move the animals to graze, not eat all the grass in some spots like they make the ecosystem work right so with wolf dogs and wolves the main problem is people breed them thinking that they're going to be good pets when they are absolutely not they do not want human contact they don't want to have to be around like it's kind of an imbalance because they don't know how to live in the wild but they don't know how to live in a home right and one of the main reasons that i took these two was they were at San Diego Wildlife Center. Okay. And they would have gotten put down because once they learned that they were had wolf in them, started showing the characteristics, they instantly were gonna have to euthanize right, themselves. Right, right. Because they were, Kim and Kiona were turned in. Kiona had a, a broken back leg. <laughs> and this is at two months. So how old are they now? They're about five months now. So still young pups, huh? Yeah, four or five months. With a dog, you can usually get them to calm down slow down, get some balance, start to get them treat motivated, stuff like that. These two are on, on flight, so it's fight or flight. So right now when they're young, they would be prey. They'd have predators trying to get them, do this and that, because they're underdeveloped. They're bred with a little tiny bit of Samoyed, which is an Alaskan like sled dog. Okay. Um, very capable and northern. They're usually bred with norm northern breeds, but then they have a little tiny, tiny bit of Malamute in okay. them. Yeah. So that that gives the dog instinct they think, which Malamutes need a lot of attention to in a right. lot of training. So right. doesn't work out right. That's no, that's no golden retriever breed. Yeah. <laughs> you know. There's a massive enclosure, huh? So this is what we have the GoFundMe up for right now for Kim and Kiona. Okay. Because their enclosure is going to go right there. I see. And the fact that since you guys are right here, they don't even want to come close to you. Yeah. But if you turn your back and walk away, they'll try to come up and sniff where you're at 
to see who you are, where you lie in the food chain. Okay, let's let's test it. Let's test it. Blake, get in there and turn your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delicious, Rocky. There's not much meat on me. They wouldn't. I, I like. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I picked the skinniest guy here. You can see different areas where they start to dig and make their own dens. Okay. So I use dog houses, dug them down into the ground, and they look like those rocks right there, but they're actually little dens for them to be in. Yeah. But like under their enclosure right there, under their overhang right there. There's like three or four different dens they've built. All right, so you guys remember the last time we were here at Reverse Rescue, we built a tiny house for a homeless dog. So we, we built this home, this tiny house for a homeless dog for Nemo. R.I.P. Nemo, what an awesome dog. Got adopted though, that's the, that's the happy thing. Uh, lived an awesome life, but the Furbo tiny home, we built that. But here's what's cool, we're back, and we're building another one. Now, when I say we, uh, in all fairness, Ty has built this. We're gonna help with the design. Oh, I, I thought you would've had more done by now. You know, I'm slow like that. <laughs> I try to pick up the pieces, man. You're good at rolling with stuff. Like, you could've easily got pretty frustrated right there. <laughs> Everyone, you guys will be able to see in the big video, like, I don't wanna reveal too much everything going on, yes. but, um, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on the Kanaka Life channel. And, yeah. yeah, just share with you, yeah, behind the scenes stuff. I mean, the fact that this is Ty's house, that he lives here, and it's also a sanctuary, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys. I mean, he's got donkeys, pigs, goats, dogs. I don't think he has a cat. Maybe he doesn't like cats. <laughs> I don't know, if, if you had a sanctuary, what animal or animals would you have? I would love to know that. Um, I hope you're loving the Kanaka Life channel and the fact that you're getting some of the behind the scenes stuff. Like, because you watch this, you know the next dog that's gonna get the special treatment for the next tiny house. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, turn on notifications and go support Ty. I'll put a link down below, or at least go check him out because he's doing some really awesome stuff. Oh, and how about the wolf dogs? You better hit the like button for that. If you don't hit the like button for that, I'm gonna send one of them wolves after you.